first off, bit of housekeeping. I will do a bit of um, talking about what you're going to be seeing in the video. Just trying to look up the Wikipedia site. It's basically tower and um, I don't know I'll well, just get back to the start and I'm gonna be eating popcorn in this video as well so I went to Tokyo back in November of 2008 see they've already got the Christmas, well they've got the Christmas decorations up. And the views from the tower are amazing. You go up in a, um, an elevator. I haven't been to Paris so I've, uh, I haven't been up the Eiffel Tower. So I imagine it's very similar because they uh, apparently got this design off uh, the, fr the French one. Uh, so let's see. A large broadcasting tower was needed. Um, so it's a broadcasting tower. originally wanted it to be taller than the Empire State Building, which was the highest structure in the world at that time. So he based his design on the Eiffel Tower. I guess at, at night it looks a lot similar. It's really strange because there's glass floors in there when you get to the top and so you're basically looking straight down which is pretty creepy. exactly know how to get there. I was with a friend. We went to Tokyo together and I had no idea of the language or um, how, how to get around. Not wherever anything was. It's, um, yeah, very beautiful at night. It's been featured in a lot of Japanese films um, and anime as well, like, um, well, Death Note. is really relaxing for you. It certainly is delicious. But you can basically see all of Tokyo up there. And um, Shippa even tell you where like Japan is such a, a nightmare of a place to if you don't know the language it is so difficult to get around and it 
that's lucky I had a friend. Um, he had been there before and he, he could see where things were. I'm usually good at maps, but you know, this was just gobbledygook to me. I think you can see the, the Akihabara from there. That's an uh, electronics district. I'm assuming that's what it was. All those lights there. That's looking down through the glass. It's a long way up. What's up? That bridge is um, there's a Ferris wheel and other beautiful things. There's a lot of um, TV studios around there. So the reason I went to Tokyo, uh, I just said to my friend, um, he wanted to go overseas and. I said, oh, can I come along? And I said, well, you've been to Tokyo before. Is it a crazy place to go to? And he said, yeah, very crazy. And you see the most weirdest things. But the people are so nice. And friendly and accommodating. Everyone is very polite. This mascot is apparently called the Little Brother or something, but it looked like a giant penis dressed as Father Christmas, so I, I naturally had to film it myself. We were laughing about it. Um, they, I didn't know if um, Japanese celebrate Christmas, but. It's very beautiful. Their decorations were, ev were everywhere. Um, if I ever went back to Tokyo, I would do a lot of research first. Because it can be very daunting in getting around. Um, the, not many people speak English over there. And since, ever since I went there, I've stuck to mainly English-speaking countries. And yeah, just because of the hassle, like, you're, you're in another c country to begin with. It's like an alien world. And you're out of your comfort zone. And you're trying to enjoy yourself, but you just don't know that. The, the language at all so you can't communicate with anyone all I had was my friend and then he started to get on my nerves so um, by the end of it I couldn't wait to get home but there are some very beautiful things in Japan and this was one of them I think it's much better going at night than daytime, just because the, the lights that um, are everywhere, and the, the city comes alive. It's actually pretty big. and. Another thing about Japan is it is so clean, such a clean city, you don't find rubbish anywhere, and you don't find bins anywhere as well, because they had, um, a terrorist attack or something, I don't know, but there were not many bins around.
everyone um, keeps it very clean. Um, I'll tell you about the capital hotels another another time. I've got plenty more f footage of Japan to go through, so I hope this was relaxing for you. And um, the popcorn is certainly delicious. <laughs>